Hello, Jeff here. I've been asked to uh, give a video of, of what I've got going in the workshop and a tour of a workshop. So I'm going to start outside with uh, some of the projects I've got going on out here. So first of all, what is on behind me is the MGB. Put on pause. Okay. Here, this is a 1972 MGB. I've been working on for quite a while, actually. Um, all new metal everywhere. <laughs> so right now it's on a rotisserie. It's been here a little while under a pine tree here, so it's kind of getting a little bit neglected. But here in Alberta, it's actually a very dry province. So you can see all the new steel in it. So it is on a rotisserie. Rotisserie I built myself. Ideal for welding. Go around the side here. It's actually needs to go into a workshop very soon, probably uh, this year. So going around the outside of a workshop, we are my daily driver on my commuter car, the Mini Cooper. Love this little car. It's fun to drive, economical. I'll do a, uh, a road test on this one very soon. And then got the Range Rover Classic. This is actually was going to be my spares car. But I think now it's actually going to be turning into a restoration. More in, in, in a minute. I also have a motorhome. This is a an Audi coupe, two door. This, this one actually belongs to my son. This one is going into the workshop as soon as I've done the Range Rover Classic. Quite a solid car. It's got some issues. My son is the second and fourth owner. <laughs> Go figure that one out. And behind that, I got a glider trailer, and in here is a glider. I'm also a glider pilot. Uh, I actually sold this particular glider. And up behind here, I don't know if you can really see it, there is another MGB. It's my spare parts car with some doors and panels. It's a complete car. And that's an interesting car behind me. And We'll go into the workshop. We'll just open it up from here. And all can be revealed. So the workshop is about 900 square feet. Not bad. Plenty big enough for me at the moment, but it's never too big. So here's a Range Rover Classic I'm restoring, which is a Range Rover Litchfield. It's got a TVR engine in. It's got a, let's go around to the side here, let's start on this one. I, have to, I do have a video on, of this one on my YouTube channel. It's got a five liter V8 TVR. Actually it says actually TVR right there. About 300 horsepower in its day. This is a really good engine. Sounds nice. But what's letting this one down is the rust. It is rust everywhere. Now I was gonna do a full restoration of this, but I think I'm changing my mind. You can actually see, because I'm taking the wing off here, it has got rust everywhere. It's a pity because I put new axles in, refurbished the calipers and the rotors, painted with pour 15 in those areas uh, but now i've got into it i just think it's a bit too much rust for the time scale i got into it so i think i'm taking this engine out and putting it into my other car which is in far better condition body wise but it's an interesting project this will be done this year hopefully by the summer so down there let's go down this side here still got a fender on here again i got bits of wood stored everywhere Go to the, the back of a workshop. Excuse the mess, but thank it. I've got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> this is all basically all MGB. I have restored lots of MGBs. Kind of know my way in and out of those in my sleep. There is an engine. Um, and I have cupboards up here. This cupboard, I have stuff with detailing. 
this cupboard is mainly like lubes and oils and paints in there. I have a polisher for polishing aluminum parts. I used to make um, billets and aluminum parts for sports cars. And just my spare shelf. One guy just gave me all this stuff. <laughs> Nuts and bolts and washers and bits of plastic and everything else. He just gave me a whole bunch of stuff. Um, I have spray guns. I do all my own spraying. On my car restorations. And more nuts and bolts. I just collect stuff everywhere. I got my parts and power tools and pullers and um, all of these parts are off a of Fiat X19, which I just recently sold. So I am slowly getting rid of some stuff. More nuts and bolts. Range Rover parts. Range Rover parts. Just bought a pipe bender from a company called Princess Auto, which is a little bit like Harbor Freight. I have an engine, engine hoist. Um, I got some electronic stuff, which is going to go to a dump. These rims are my summer rims for the Mini. Uh, right now, I got winter tires on there. I do live in Alberta, and, and you can see there's it is snow outside, and these tires are no good in the snow. Uh, I have my desk. Some of you might even recognize these. This is a British publication called On the Road, where you collected every week, and you made up a whole volume of cars. Uh, car information. Very useful if you're into older cars. The information you have in there is excellent, like from the 70s and 80s. And above this, I have my model car collection. Give you a quick scan. Some of it not so old, some of it very old. Um, I have a picture on the back here. My all-time favorite car I owned was a Lancia Fulvia. That was in 1973. Some more of my cars, lots of Land Rovers. I have a, a Mammoth steam engine. More cars. More stuff. More cars. More cars. More cars. Pause the video if you want to look at them closely. I have a lot of them in here. Yeah, my goal is to fill the shelf up with, uh, with cars. I've just about succeeded. So, go back. I have pictures on the wall. I used to be an amateur radio guy. I still am, but I just I just don't do it anymore. Um, up here might be interesting. Somebody, oh, if I can reach, that is a steam engine I am building. I have made. Um, I'm working on the boiler right now. I thought to get some gauges in and some piping in. And I want to finish that one off as well soon. So that's, one of, that's my other project. Top shelf, we have the dash panel for the MGB outside. And the radiator. Now there's my heating kicking in. As a matter of interest, my heater is a radiant heater. I have a nice big bench I'm lucky to have. I'm just going to walk up to my heater and just turn it off. There we go. So it's not so noisy. This is a four foot by eight foot rope bench. MIG welder for my welding on cars. Batteries on charge. Cupboard full of stuff. Top full of stuff. I have a whiteboard. Remind me what I need to do in. I have a hydraulic press, toolboxes with bits and pieces. I am an actually mechanical engineer and I am a tool maker by trade. So I have lots of tools. Some of the tools I've been myself. So I kind of see I've got lots of posters and pictures as well. And that was my whole business. At one time, I don't do that anymore. Well, not on a full time basis. Uh, shear, bandsaw, lots of car registration plates. Some of them I used to own. And toolboxes. 
Okay, we've got files and punches, drills, Allen keys, more stuff, wrenches, and this one's the same, wrenches, imperial wrenches, screwdrivers, oh, I've got lots of stuff. My uh, air compressor, also I do my own car respraying. Now this area is a little bit of a mess here. Um, I have a parts washer underneath here and a sandblaster and more hoses. Again, more of my X business stuff. And a lot of you have seen the, the, just walk outside, video of the Jaguar XK8. It's ultimate black, black on black. And also we taught it's a black edition as well with like a, a chrome delete. Uh, the only thing that's chrome on it is the door pulls, which they're pity. And again, I've got a separate video on this one, so please enjoy. And I have my 1991 Honda CB125. Which is a bit of an unusual bike in Alberta because this is small by Alberta standards. Very sunny day again today. This bike is, she's very pretty. Let me get down here. Oh, too much sun. Go around this other side. There we go, that's better. Little twin, 125 twin. Excellent condition. This bike, ah, it doesn't have a headlight. This used to belong to a motorcycle training school at the Lethbridge College, where I do some part-time uh, small engine repair. I'm an instructor there on small engine repair and other stuff they contract me for. And they gave me this one, uh, which I restored, put back together, built several bikes, smashed up bikes into one nice bike. So this is, this is a 91 CB125, and it is for sale. It will be up for sale very soon. If I can get a headlight for it, it will be up for sale. Um, of course, I've got various tools. I've got a, a press drill with a little milling vise set up underneath it to one side. Better view of the uh, office area. That's the noisy radiant heater, which does keep this place very warm. So, you know, I'm in Alberta. It gets very cold here. Yeah, that's about it. All sorts of stuff, projects going on, I'm working on, always keeping busy. Got Milwaukee tools, Milwaukee chargers. Yeah, that's about it. Hope you enjoy. I will be doing videos of cars later on. I'll do a, a road test of a Mini. It's only a just adjuster. It's only just a Mini Cooper. It's not a, an S. Very nice little car, runs excellent. No issues at all with it. I'll do a road test on that one, on our walk around. It's a love that little car. And as things move on, I'll do more videos. I'll also do a road test of a cat as well, which I'm trying to think of a name for. It may be Lulu. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but as you see outside, I do have snow and the Jag does not like the ice. We've got rear wheel drive and that power. Does not like it at all. Okay, that's all for now. Hope to uh, get you another video soon. And uh, Happy New Year to all the viewers. Bye for now.